Coach, just first and foremost, where practice is at at this point and just what you can say about the maturation process of the team at this point. Coming along really well. Uh, I can't remember. What are we at, 12, 13 right now? We got Wednesday, we got Thursday, we got Saturday, so we're finishing up 12. I think they're doing a nice job. Anytime we come off the weekend, we kind of just kind of get them back into the flow of things. Not as, not as physical today as it will be tomorrow and Thursday. As far as offensively, just what you can say about the tempo and the speed of the game and, and how these players have responded to your offense. They responded. They're coming along. They're working extremely hard. We're still slow. We'll get faster. How fast do you want them? What's the ideal rate of uh, play, run, and how many seconds? With that's all de That all depends on how fast the official set the ball, so I have no control over it. How much of a learning curve did you realistically expect coming in and trying to install <sighs> your new system? I don't think there was a big learning curve. It's the third time that we've done it. We know what we're doing. It's just a matter of getting people in here that are hungry and have faith, and uh, we'll get it installed. As far as Mo Neal coming on early here and, and making sure that he got out here for this practice, just what you can say about how he's been through the spring? I think he's been like a hungry freshman that enrolled in January and wants to be on the football field. So you got a couple linebackers back today, and we saw Paris was limited. You know, what's it been like for that group as a whole? A lot of injuries, just trying to assess them and see what you've got this spring. It's hard to assess linebackers when they're not going full speed. But right now, they're just learning the system. We'll have to get an assessment the next time we get an opportunity to put gear on. Mm -hmm. And maybe for Zaire specifically in that middle linebacker position, how much of a, a learning curve, or how many, how many behind on that learning curve is he having not been able to go live at all? Zaire is a little bit different because he's got a lot of experience going live and he played on the football field. It's a matter of him learning what to do and then just making sure during two-a-days that he gets a good feel with some live shots. Mm -hmm. So when you see him do the, the non-live stuff with the drops, you think he, he can fit that position and, and do everything that's required well? Yes. Any other questions for Coach? We saw you're letting students in Thursday night to see practice. What was kind of the idea behind that? Well, with with me knowing that the basketball team was going to make the Final Four and everybody was going to be partying and getting ready to watch that game, I wanted to make sure they got an opportunity to see the football team before all that stuff happened. How important is, you know, student turnout might not have been ideal the last few years. How important is, is getting those students in the stands? What does that do for a program? It's everything. It's everything. It helps recruiting. It helps Home field advantage, it does no good to have a home field advantage and the other team to be able to come up and communicate on offense when the, uh, you have an opportunity in the carrier dome to make it loud and crazy. And we want that thing to be a, a fiesta in there. And we want it extremely difficult on opposing offenses to communicate. And seeing as you knew that Syracuse was going to make the Final Four, uh, you know, what's the plan having recruits up this weekend? Uh, are you setting up some kind of viewing party for the Final Four or letting those guys kind of go out and, and well, the, the current players bring them where they want. Well, it's kind of it's our typical deal is wherever the current players want to take them. I'm sure they're going to sit down somewhere and watch our, our basketball team play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're making sure they stay up, stay over Saturday night? No, I'm not allowed <laughs> to do that. <laughs> C2A rules don't allow me to do that. That's up to them. You know, as, as far as the men's and the women's team making it, I know you're out for the men advancing in the Final Four. Just what you can say about what it means for the school as well as what it potentially means for recruiting, knowing that there's so much focus on Syracuse. Well, I, did, I think it just goes to show you that not only is academics important, but uh, athletics is important. And, and as student athletes, they need to take care of the first part. You can't get a better ac education than uh, Syracuse, especially when you talk about the athletic level of play that you're going to be playing on the football field, on the basketball courts. I think the lady teams and, the, and what Coach Q's done has been exceptional as well. And, and their tempo and their pace is something that excites me. You know, I love the two-three zone, but I also love it when we press. So the hotter and faster, the better. And I think that the, both of those teams uh, should be commended. And I'm excited to see what they can do uh, in the Final Four. How much of that, maybe outside of this weekend, do you think having really good men's, I guess, and women's basketball team helps with recruiting? Everything helps in recruiting. When 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 the basketball teams are good and we're bringing recruits in during basketball season, I think that helps the football team. When the football team is good and they're bringing basketball people in during football season, I think that helps the basketball team. We saw uh, Tyler Gilfus working out at wide receiver. Um, what, what maybe went into that move? Uh, not enough guys at wide receiver, too many guys at tight end want to see what he can do. Was he working at tight end before that? I can't remember. Last question for coach. All right, Dino, thanks. Thank you. Thanks.